You're listening to Dublin South FM. Text us on the texting number he just said, which I keep forgetting, which is fine because in life sometimes we forget things. We do. And, and sometimes we don't forget things. And sometimes we listen online at www.dublinsouthfm.ie. Text us on 087-939-2000. That's 087-939-2000. 2000. 2000, it's 2014. It 2014, the year of the return of Mr. Brad Bellinger. <laughs> Brad Bellinger, tell us a little bit more about your comedy. You started doing stand-up a, a, a few years ago, yeah. right? Here in Dublin. Here in Dublin, yep. yeah, when yep. you were here, yeah, two once, years ago. Once I graduated high school, I, uh, I was supposed to go to the military. But, uh, yeah. But I, uh, I didn't want really? to do that. Yeah, I didn't. Okay. And I just... Uh, Sneaked my way out of it somehow. Okay. Yeah, like, and uh, I, the day after our graduation, moved over to Dublin, started doing stand up and the open mics, joined the uh, joined some competitions and. Robert's your father's brother. There you go. Bob's your uncle. Yeah. So I got a job on a cruise ship. That's why I moved away. Yeah. Yeah. Man, that's in it's slick. Yeah. It was uh, it was pretty cool. I got to learn a lot. You know. But I got fired. <laughs> I totally got that fired. That was the end. You put a person like me on a cruise ship, it's not... <laughs> it's not a healthy yeah, not good. mix of chemistries. Alcohol is just... Yeah. It's a thing, right? Yeah, it's a big thing on the ships. They don't call you a drunken sailor for no reason. For no reason. Yeah. Like, like if I was a pirate, yeah. I would like rum. Yeah. And if I was on a cruise ship, rum. I would like to Some... fill my tum with... A beer or two. Or two. As you did at that time, which rhymes with... Lime. Lime. In my yes, drink. Yes, yes. Brad Bellinger, you've only gone and bloody done it again. <laughs> What's that? You've only gone and bloody done it again. Yeah, that's true. So so the cruise ship stuff happened, and then you, you went back to the States. Yeah, back to the States, and I, I started doing comedy just back on land in Florida. To Flowrider. And, that, you know, it's a, it's a scene that's... Uh, Flowrider. That's rising. Yeah, you know, uh, it, it's not the strongest uh, city in the U.S. as far as comedy goes, but it's getting there. You know, it's a, it's, it's, it's probably not the best. Is it the best? Is it one of the best, better cities for stand up for for little stand up gigs and stuff? Uh, I mean, little stand up gigs. It's growing compared to m the most major metropolitan areas in the states. Yeah. It's definitely the one that's growing. From the bottom, like start yeah. from the bottom. Now we're here. Yeah, it's not. Know? Yeah, started from the bottom. Now we're here. What? <laughs> started from the bottom. Now we're whole cool. <laughs> <laughs> Break it Drake, down. right? Yeah, it's pretty good. Get <laughs> on and come home. Um, uh, so, so have you had any strange, uh, strange mix-ups or strange times in your in your well, stand-up career? Before any I... heckles, any strange yeah. heckles. Before I came here, uh, I had one last gig at the Haypenny. Uh, uh, okay. The Haypenny Inn. Yeah, hey, yeah the Haypenny Inn. The, they Good call spot. it the Battle of the Axe Comedy Club. And okay. I got heckled by uh, this man and his uh, the woman that he was with. And young gentleman with his lady caller. Yeah, and they were heckling everybody as well. You know what I mean? Uh, in the, during the whole show. And uh, what ended up happening is I got up there and just really, I mean, I, I had everybody there. I was having yeah. a couple, too many drinks. And, you know, it was a little, you know. But the crowd was behind me the whole way. Oh, perfect. I put it on YouTube and it's got like 375,000 views. Are you views. serious? Yeah. What, what do we search for? Do you see that? Uh, just type in Brad Bellinger Heckle. Brad Bellinger Heckle. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Brad Bellinger, like he's here in real life. You're going to see him in fake life on YouTube. Fake uh, life. Uh, if you do end up. Uh, looking that up, we we hope we hope to see you guys at the gig. We hope that you're going to come down and uh, and and support the arts. Support the arts. Support the arts. You know what I mean? Support the arts. Or heckle me. Let's just hope the guy from the video doesn't come. Let's hope that he. And if he does, yeah, we should create a kind of sequel. Sequel. Yeah. Or like yeah, sequel to what had happened before, but like a scenario that maybe we lock everyone in the bar <laughs> and they have to fight to the death. Yeah. So I'm some kind of like inglorious bastards yeah, ending. Kind of yeah, kind yeah. of like a like a like a post apocalyptic but comedy based or kind just, of thing. Just the heckler, just lock him you in. They call it the heckler. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this summer the St heckler, starring Barry, starring Barry, the wanker, the the yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the 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 schlanker is what he said. <laughs> it wasn't a swear word. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, there's an American difference. All right, is that a, is that a bad word? Oh no! Oh no! No! Okay. No! No! It's 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 a it's a fresh it's a fresh faced young word yeah. coming straight out of Compton. <laughs> and yes, speaking of straight out of Compton, uh, uh, a word from one of our friends, uh, uh, and he's 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 a long time coming, uh, uh, first time caller, long time fan. Um, 
And he's going to tell us some hilarious histories. And it actually, his name slightly rhymes with what you just said, uh, the American uh, uh, colloquialism. Uh, and he's going he's gonna to tell us some strange events throughout history. Um, to the tune of some of Mozart's best work, that's Amadeus, for those of you who are wondering. Not Frank. Frank Mozart, of course, is the creator of the... Oh, is he? Okay. Apple. No, actually. No, yeah, I was... <laughs> Hilarious history with walking. Austrian Hans Steinger was a gentleman known for having the longest beard in the world. His beard was an astonishing 4.5 feet long. One faithful day in 1567, there was a fire in town. In his hurry to run for safety, Hans exact accidentally stepped on his beard lost his balance and fell. The fall resulted in a broken neck and death. 